Malik's name was given me after my pa dad, who first flushed Idaho dirt knuckles sometime before 1922. I was born out of Bula Ann Beatrice Potaski Hendersnoos and right out of 16 foot of December snow. Our junior obliged himself in the otter slick boil of a June Tuesday night, the almanac called the Devil's Own Bathtub. Strange year already, what with the bears nesting up under the crops, giving him the tater shakes. Then there was the outbreak of land salmon that just, just made things worse. That put a hurt right on us we hadn't felt since 37 with Pappy's potato pop bust up. You see, potato pops ground pugs going spoiled, wrung out with barrel oil and mixed with bacon milk, cut with paint crackle and a wood spoon to pool shock. Hawdad's the one built that mix. Some folks dash it with low burn diesel, but that ain't hinder snooze. My pappy and pawpaw used to shed brew it and sell it 30 cent a jar till the law came along with a stack time shooter and a piece of paper saying a clutch of townsfolk took the blind on the stuff. That's all stick chuck though. First time I saw that net of a dug nugget, I was looking for my nip shears and come up on him nestle eight fingers deep of feed hose. The minute I looked into all those eyes, I knew he weren't no normal spud. It took us a flick to figure a right foe for our junior. Couldn't pull plow on account of his condition. He weren't worth a fist of box marbles for house chores, neither. My wife Murmur is the one who showed him the dance and he's just a tot. His feet weren't put too right, so we just sort of jumped here and there a bit. But he loved it, so we just let him be. Even though we looked a pack mule chewing bumblebees. <laughs> Murma wanted to put the learning on him just herself. Keep him away from the other boys. Kate never could see him as nothing but my own kin, though, and had to treat him as such, which meant sending him off for regular schooling. The other boys. Most of the pawns is chunk rut farmers, too, so they was keen to tape malls just fine, but they ain't never seen a totter plop square in a book room with them, and suppose it didn't set right. They made a fool of him something fierce. Didn't stop for the rest of his schooling. A few times a year, somebody would butter him up but good. I remember one boy who jugged a gallon of his ma dad's brown gravy and doused our junior like made her paste on a hornet's nest. <laughs> Rest of the day, he was hounded by miter bats, picking in a chunk and bites as big as Lincoln quarters out of his head. Didn't help none, he wouldn't quit dancing. Should have kept him on the farm. He belongs on the farm. Where is he now? I wish I knew. I really do. He just left this. I hope he finds it. For all our sake.